All right, to reach the first uh, lava geyser location, we are going to start from the giant coil tube that sticks up out of the water. And from here, we are going to head about half of a notch to the right of south until we reach a lava geyser and the safe shallow. Now, there's nothing to worry about here, like in terms of threats, and you don't really need anything special coming here. So, yeah, we don't really have much to talk about. But I will say, both of these spots can most certainly, they can most definitely power your entire base. Like, even, even if you have like a larger larger size base it can still because thermal energy in this game is kind of it's kind of op because it never freaking it never runs out constantly regenerates etc etc and all right and just like that we are here at the first little spot now you're also going to want to be careful whenever you're putting down your thermal plants and whatnot to, to build this because you don't want to go too close to it unless you have like a reinforced dive suit on because that'll protect you from the the heat but if you go down there without like a without anything on and then it starts shooting up like it's about to do hold on yeah if it does it does like that while you're down there you will probably fall over and flop like a fish so just make sure you're you're extra careful whenever you're building your stuff you just build like a foundation like right above it and then it will yeah see so it'll still give you some good amounts good amounts of uh thermal energy and power and plus if you use a uh, foundation you can put more thermal plants down because it gives you more room anyways so yeah just keep all that in mind and we are going to go on to the next all right just to just show you a little example the the four thermal plants i put down there are connected to this base and we can see how fast the power is going up just four of those are giving us gives us about 500 in reserve so all right the new the each went <laughs> to reach the next and last location we are going to start from the giant go to the six out of the water once again and this time we are going to be heading about half of a notch to the left of north until you reach the underwater island and once you get to the underwater island you can just stop there i will just tell you where to go next now going to the underwater islands you're going to want a sea moth with a mark II depth module or you can just bring a cyclops or a prawn suit down here you're also going to want perimeter defense on that sea moth if you haven't because of the creatures here then aside from the sea moth you can also bring your stasis rifle a knife and a sea glide now the only threats that you're going to run into in this biome and in this general area are bone sharks which on their own they're not that bad but because there's a lot of them here they are kind of dangerous you're going to want to be careful. You can use perimeter defense against them to make them get away from you if you're in your sea moth. And if you're not in your sea moth, then you can hit them with a stasis rifle to freeze them and give yourself time to run away. At the underwater islands now, as we can see. So once you reach the underwater islands, you want to go, you're, you're going to want to head straight down until you get to the very, very bottom. It's the floor at the very bottom of the biome. And that's where you are going to want to go. All right, all right, we're down here. We made it. We made it. All right. So once you're down here, you will notice that there are there's multiple lava geysers in this in this one little area, which means there is a lot of thermal energy that you can have and you can harness. I think there's four four total, I believe. So we got one right there. One right there, one right there, that's three, four. All right, I just recounted, just recounted like three times just to make sure. And there are a total of eight lava geysers down. So eight is more than enough because you do eight. And then let's say you put, because you can put, you can put more than, more than four thermal plants on each of these. But let's just say you only do four, four and then eight. So that's what, 32? That's 32 thermal plants in this one area alone. And 32 thermal plants all generating energy constantly for your base at all times i think that is more than enough to constantly power your base that is all i have for y'all and i will see you on the next one. peace